All right, what's going on, YouTube? B Tactics here. Want to show y'all some defender size of the game. I just played a match and I had a defender who it seemed like they weren't really defending. They were looking to really just. It, it's, and it's just trying to set up kills. Setting up kills and defending teammates are similar but different. You can protect the defender, which will set up a kill, but you can set up a kill. I mean, not set up a defender. And, oh, I'm so sorry. You can set up a KO and defend someone, but you can't set up a KO and just leave someone wide open. So I want to go with the attacker. The attacker called bottom. I want to go bottom just so I'm not stuck in a bad situation. I'm going to eat up damage. That's fine. Because my attacker can do a lot of damage. So we want those things to both happen. I'm not really pressured by them at all. That's one KO. I'm gonna get this easy dunk. I'm gonna get away. I'll keep trading. Just cause it helps my attacker be able to do stuff. <laughs> That's really what I was just doing. Okay, so we got we got farm over there. We're gonna leave here. I'd rather my attack get this farm, so I won't really try to take it. You see, I just left it there, but my my attacker get get farm. Also, I can't dunk all that. I have to be ready for these uh, these uh, bears. Okay, we go in, take up these hits. I see guard chomp in the bush. Uh oh, he's taking a lot of damage. But he stays alive. I'm happy. Uh oh. Well, at least he gets the he gets the dunk. We get the dunk. We're looking good. My objective right now is just trying to keep my attacker alive. Which every defender should be doing. So I don't have anything to dunk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. I don't want to really go directly for the KO. Because I feel like if I'm doing that, I might put myself in a bad spot. They'll get stacks. But you don't want guard, uh, uh, a Gibble, a Garchomp, any, any of the evolution that get their stacks and in, in, in battle you. They're gonna, the more likely they can out-trade you. Now you see how my Decidueye's already evolved? I don't know why they took that. Okay. Well, they're not here. They're they're MIA. Which ooh, ooh. I'm gonna follow them so they don't get KO'd. I do not want them KO'd. And by the way, this is a ranked match. I want to state this is a ranked match. So we're already level seven, level eight before the first drag. This is unbelievable. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Now I put him against the wall. See, so my attacker can get can get on some farm. Now I could have pushed him back to my attacker, but that doesn't really help. You know? Now I see my Greninja being attacked, so what am I doing? I'm rotating over here. Okay, it puts me up. That's not really a good idea for slow, bro. Are these new players or something? All right, now I see the dragon there got this. So I'm looking more to zone. I don't want them to, to, oh, okay. They didn't even come down here. But I want to take down the slow, bro. I don't think I can get over there in time. And my slow, bro is down. And I don't think we can actually, you know, we can't jump yet. I don't know why Dragon I want to take all these because you have to dunk those. It's a lot harder to dunk 21 than 26. I know it doesn't sound like a lot. Every increment of five makes it a little more difficult to dunk. Like you could tell. Now maybe I should have stayed bottom to defend the uh the tower. I don't want my decidueye going off alone. That's my feed right now. If they do good, I do good. 
And as a defender, you should know that. Take priority in protecting your squishies. Okay. See that? The Dragon Knight so me nearby, they don't want to really engage with me. They know they don't want to engage with me. I see a fight going up there. Nah, I'm a, ooh. My Greninja's here. Here we go. I'm, I'm just trying to allow them to do more damage. I don't let this slow bro get away. Nope. See that? I use my potion. You're probably wondering why do I have potion? Potion is trash. Potion allows you to uh, heal for, I think, 15 or 20 percent of your health, plus like what level level you are. Okay, that's great. I don't mind taking that hit. Slow bros down. This is not a place we really want to be at anymore. We do not want to be here. I want to get away. I, I want to, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. They surrendered. Are these bots? There's no way these are bots. This was a, this was a ranked match. I chose ranked, right chat? Now I'm curious, did I choose ranked? I'm not gonna lie, that team looked like they were hot garbage. I won't lie. But that whole time you saw me, I was trying to protect my squishies. As a defender, that is your role. I know chasing the, the sexy kill looks like the right play. But imagine you, you chase that you chase that KO. Let's say you get the KO. Let's say you get a double, right? Now, the whole time I was allowing my attacker to get fed so they can do more damage. If they go down, I give whoever got that KO gets more XP than they would for taking me down. And it's a lot harder to take me down than my attacker. So with that being said, it makes a lot more sense for me to be in the way of my attacker Cause even if they KO'd me instead of my attacker, which is gonna take longer to KO me, cause I'm gonna have more health, more defenses, I probably have more CC, and I have a way to negate damage, then letting them take my my uh, my attacker. Plus, I'm probably lower level, cause it's harder for me to you know to last it and do damage. I probably could last it if I really put my mind to it. There's no point. Just let your attacker have it to have more damage to clear things faster. Because they clear faster and you're nearby, you level up faster. It makes no sense. But hey, let's actually look to see what happened. See, my attack is MVP, and I'm not gonna say that's because of me, but I made sure they weren't really getting hit. Look, they took 13K damage. I took 18K. You know, Wiggly took 13K as well, and Dragon I took 20K. You're probably like, oh, that Dragon I was tanking more than you. Mm, not, not really. They just was able to be in more fights. You can tell, that's why my damage is so low. <laughs> But you see the recovery, I was getting berries, I was resting, I was using potion. It's great. And I wasn't getting hit with CC because, well, block avoids CC. Crowd control, hindrance. But yeah, look at this. Uh, two KOs, one KO, one assist. And then two assists. I had six assists. And my attacker had six, six KOs and one assist. You know what that means? Every time I probably had, a, had uh, an assist, my attacker probably had a KO. That's good. That's what you want. But let's see if these were bots or not. Let's, let's view info. Wow. That was a player. Over a thousand matches. Okay, 600. Uh, maybe you're new. Slowbro was getting bought, I won't lie. Slow was getting bought, bottom line. A thousand matches. Okay, maybe you must be new then. 742. Okay. I mean, is that is that not enough to hit uh to master rank though? 985. Was this a fair match? Oh, my guy only was, had 860. I just stood in the way, let them do, and let them do what they needed to do. Okay, a thousand. I know I got like 2,000. I got over 2,500. Okay, a thousand. And 640. Nice. No, technically, it's pretty fair. Crash made a video on this, by the way. But yeah, I mean. I don't know. I don't know how you only do 3K damage though. It's absolute. 
I feel like you do like um, I forgot the ability you can get behind him and hit them. You do like about a thousand damage. So like with that, you probably land that three times. That's three thousand damage. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a defender who just out damaged their jungle. Maybe there wasn't jungle. Who was jungle? Maybe Dragon that was jungle. I don't know. All I know is they were not doing well. But was that a ranked match? I don't know if that was a ranked match. It was a ranked match, Chad. I got a plus 10. That is very weird. But hey, that's how you play Defender. I thank y'all very much. Um, but yeah, tools for Defender since we're at the end, right? Allow your carry to get KOs. You still want to get some sort of farm. You need to last at something every once in a while. Just so when it's time to dunk, you have something to dunk. If you're able to communicate with your attacker or your carry, whoever's in lane with you, tell them, hey, I need points to dunk. And they say, oh, you're stacking? It don't matter if you're stacking or not. When you dunk, you gain XP and that's health. And whoever wants to dunk, they're gonna want you to come with them so they can dunk faster. You dunk faster when you dunk together. It's called Pokemon Unite, not Pokemon Separation. Stop being greedy. If you have 36, don't go and pick up one for 37, especially if someone has zero. Let them pick up the one. You got 30, if you got 30 plus and someone has zero, there's no reason to be picking up more. Let them pick stuff up so they can gain XP. Especially your carry, you're gonna last it things for more XP. So you're gonna last it for more XP. You're gonna be able to um, get the natural pickup from the KO. You see something on the ground, and you know there's a person that was with you, is not last hitting, let them pick it up. They'll level up with you, so they don't have to say, why are they not leveled up? Why am I level 13 or level 14 and still level 11? Because you won't let them dunk. But yeah, I thank y'all very much. Y'all take care, be easy, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.